Today we're going to be reviewing speed, velocity, and acceleration, and then we'll also look at how to calculate the average speed of an object. Let's look at speed first. Speed is just how fast an object is going at a given moment in time. The cap below is moving towards the left at a constant speed. When we say constant speed, this means that the object is not speeding up or slowing down, but it's remaining the same. There are other examples. Cars, we like to say they travel in miles per hour, so the speed of a car could be 70 miles per hour. We also use meters per second, such as 10 meters per second, or even five kilometers an hour. There is also a formula that we use in order to calculate the average speed of an object, and that is speed is equal to the object's distance it traveled, divided by the amount of time that it took the object to move the distance. This is abbreviated in the formula as S equals D divided by T. Speed is usually measured in meters per second. Let's go ahead and try to solve a practice problem. This example says a man walks 100 meters in 50 seconds. What is the man's speed? First, let's start by setting up our equation. We have speed is equal to distance divided by time. Going back into our problem, our D or distance is going to be 100 meters. And at time it took the man to walk the 100 meters is 50 seconds. Now we need to plug these two numbers into the formula. Our D is going to be 100 meters. And we'll abbreviate the meters by using an M divided by 50 seconds. And I'll abbreviate the seconds by using an S. Now we need to divide. So 100 meters divided by 50 seconds means our speed is going to be two meters per second. So the man walked the 100 meters in 50 seconds, meaning his speed was two meters per second. Now let's look at velocity. Velocity is just speed but it also has a direction associated with it. That direction could be up, down, left, right, north, east, southwest, forwards, um, backwards. So if we have a speed, let's say this bear is walking at one meter per second, that is going to be speed. Now if we say the bear is walking at one meter per second to the right, that is going to be velocity. So once again, velocity is just speed, but it also has a direction with it. Finally, we have acceleration. Acceleration occurs when there's a change in an object's speed or the direction that it is traveling. Some examples of acceleration are speeding up or accelerating, but an object could also be slowing down or decelerating. Acceleration also happens when there's a change in an object's direction or if it stops moving altogether. Take, for instance, this astronaut. He's going around the Earth at a constant speed. But he has acceleration because he's always changing the direction that he's traveling. Sometimes he's moving downwards, other times he's moving towards the right, and then sometimes he's going back towards the left. So he is accelerating, even though he's not changing speeds. He can, however, speed up, and that would be acceleration as well. That's the end of today's lesson on reviewing speed, velocity, and acceleration. Please be sure to check your Schoology folder and find your assignment for today, as well as answering the discussion question.